Well guys, I've lived with the TRD Pro Tundra for a week. So did I make a mistake of not getting this and waiting for it? Or am I super happy with my Platinum here? So I think with after the week of having the TRD Pro Tundra, I really liked it. There's just something about a TRD Pro Tundra when you're driving it. it just It's just something about a Pro, man. But I am very, very happy that I went with a Platinum. The six and a half foot bed on it is awesome. The iForce Max on this though, it was pretty nice to have that like low end torque, that good bit of power. But even though my Tundra's lifted on 37s, it moves very, very well. So if you're bouncing back and forth between an iForce Max or a normal iForce, don't worry because the normal iForce will move really well. And the biggest thing is this up under here. So I was looking around and someone wanted me to uh, show transferring all this stuff over here into the TRD Pro, right? So I have all the straps over there. I have the ball pin right there, but I figured that may not even be worth it because just coming over here to the TRD Pro, we literally don't have anything. So there's nothing under the TRD Pro at all for storage. And really our only storage is right here behind the seats. So if I was to do it and showcase it, I would just be putting straps just sitting on top of the bottle jack. And that's really it. So I mean, I can put some stuff back here in the cards. And I guess if you don't have people in your back seat, you could put like a little uh, milk crate or something like that right there to have all your straps in, or you could put stuff in the bed. And that leads me to my next thing is the six and a half foot bed. So the six and a half foot bed is not available with the TRD Pro. This is the only way you could get the TRD Pro Crew Max five and a half foot bed, whereas mine, man, on the six and a half foot bed, I just didn't realize how useful it is. I mean, it's not a giant eight foot bed, which is perfectly fine, but a six and a half foot bed for the Tundra, I feel is just the perfect size. This truck did come with a bed extender, which is very nice. I would highly suggest that if you need a five and a half foot bed or if you're going with the TRD Pro. Very happy that I went with the six and a half foot bed. And then the last main thing that I wanna to touch on is the interior. So the interior of the TRD Pro, very nice, right? It is based on limited, but for the price of this one, 72.5 is the MSRP of this one. It could use a little bit more of an interior upgrade. Now it is really good and you're paying for the goodies underneath this truck, right? The Fox suspension, BBS wheels, the Falcon Wild Peak. So you're paying for stuff underneath and the appearance, but the inside is just based on a limited. So heated ventilated seats, which is nice, the 14 inch upgraded screen, 360 camera view, all the nice amenities on the inside, but you do have a white headliner, but you do have a panoramic moonroof. And a thing I do like is the cup holders right here as compared to my Platinum. But that's really the only thing in the interior that I like about the TRD Pro more than my Platinum. Because when you come inside the Platinum, oh, hello, automatic steps, really nice. Blue stitching and everything, the ambient lighting too. This truck has ambient lighting, the other one doesn't. The black headliner, panoramic roof, actual leather seats, as opposed to the soft techs in the TRD Pro. Fully adjustable here, heated and ventilated. That is my cup holder situation, which I'm not the biggest fan of, as opposed to the TRD Pro. I feel like on the TRD Pro, you get more there. Leather wrapped on the dash, more soft touch up here, whereas the TRD Pro, it's all plastic. And then when you come to the back, your back seat passengers have some goodies back here too. So we'll lay, lay that back down, which again, already touched on the storage, but your rear occupants back here, they have heated and ventilated seats on the back of the Platinum. And then we also have the peasant blockers on the back of the Platinum. And then looks guys, they're just gonna be subjective as to what you like. I mean, this Platinum, I've put some aftermarket wheels and tires on, bigger suspension. I'm gonna change up the grill to make it kind of look like a little bit of a TRD Pro grill up in the front. I know that's a unpopular thing to maybe do with the Platinum, but it's my truck and I'm gonna make it the way I want to make it. So, I mean, you can turn these, especially now since the Platinum comes as a TRD off-road, so you can get all the good off-road stuff underneath of it that the TRD Pro has, you can make like a Platinum Pro now. And honestly, they're gonna be about the same price from Toyota as they would for this. So this Platinum, you know, even though it's a 2023 without the iForce Max, I was in it at about 64,000 after the discounts. 
This one, if I remember correctly, this one, you know, like I already said, is 72. So already a difference of eight grand. You do have the hybrid here, don't have the hybrid there, but even with the wheels, tires, and suspension, I think I'm still under a TRD Pro price and I get to custom make it however I want. But looks of the TRD Pro, you can't go wrong with it. All the technical camo, you do have the upgraded headlights with it, the light bar up front, the TRD Heritage grill, already touched on the BBS wheels, Fox suspension. But this truck, I mean, I have the Dobbinsons on it, Relations Race Wheels, 37 inch tires as opposed to 33s. And then the Platinum, it just looks really good. All blacked out from the factory. No crazy chrome bits on it. Let's talk about driving impressions. Well guys, we are back in the Platinum Tundra and some things to note real quick before the light turns green to tell you guys about iForce versus iForce Max. These seats in the Platinum, significantly more comfortable than the soft tech seats i really enjoy these seats in the platinum the leather it feels good the ac seats they work they work all right in my truck and they worked all right in that iforce max the ac itself it is 94 degrees today in destin and uh, my ac it is not cooking uh, the best so the ac in this truck actually isn't really the best i'm gonna get that car Issa thing plugged back in and see if i can adjust it but i just had a doctor's appointment drove the truck in a parking lot and just around town and the turning radius of my Platinum is a bit better than the TRD Pro. So I can confirm that the TRD Pro's turning radius is not the best, but let's floor it real quick. <laughs> this, this, this truck is punchy, man. There, there is no reason to not like be upset with this normal iForce V6. There, there is no reason at all. Honestly, I found you 34 and me, we kind of like talked back and forth about this a little bit, like briefly over text. The normal iForce I feel is a bit punchier and like peppier than the normal iForce Max. And I we think like the reason for that is, is because the iForce Maxes are a little bit more um, heavy of vehicles, like with the extra components, with the drivetrain, the extra electronic components and the batteries themselves. So, I mean, my truck being on 37s lifted, I just, I just feel like it's very punchy for some reason. And I mean, just giving it a little bit of throttle, like the turbos, they just spool up real quick, throttle. <laughs> and it just, it just, it just carries perfectly fine. And again, this is lifted about three to four inches with 37 inch tires and this truck scoots. Now, some things that I'm starting to notice with my truck, and I'll talk about it a little bit more in other videos, guys, is uh, there are a little bit of annoying rattles that are starting to happen in my Tundra. The TRD Pro, that was super silent. Uh, it was great with wind noise. My truck too, it's pretty good with wind noise as well, uh, but starting to have issues. Freaking window, man. But that is not what this video is about. The video is just me getting back into my Tundra, loving everything about it for the most part. The black headliner, the AC seats, the heated seats, the rear seats that are AC, uh, ventilated, heated, just the platinum interior. Uh, the only thing I don't care for, like I already touched on, is this area of the platinum, but when it's closed up, it does look nice and elegant. And my miles per gallon right now with my Tundra, I'm at 17.6. Haven't reset it after I put 37s on this truck. And it's just punchy, this truck is great. I am not upset at all that I did not get a TRD Pro, that I did not wait it out for a TRD Pro. I am perfectly content with this, especially when it comes to the six and a half foot bed. I, I don't think that I could ever live without a six and a half foot bed again for what me and my wife do with our Airbnb stuff, with real estate stuff, just day to day when you need a truck bed, it's just, it's really nice to have that six and a half foot bed. The under storage under the seats is really nice to have for all the toe straps, toe hitch, just everything that you get with this normal iForce is just, it's just really awesome, man. I really, I really enjoy it. So guys, that is it. I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later. And as I pulled into my garage, I forgot that I did not mention about the suspension and the tires. So this truck, it has aftermarket 37 inch Nitto Recon Grappler tires and the Dobbinson's IMS kit. Now that Tundra TRD Pro it has 33 inch Falcon Wild Peaks and people say that they're not legitimate Wild Peaks. They're like a dealer spec version. These Recon Grapplers on this truck, 
and the suspension on this truck, in my opinion, <laughs> someone else can drive my truck and drive a TRD Pro, I'd love to hear you guys' opinion. Um, this truck rides better. This truck rides better as the Platinum, not sure if it's because of the long bed and it doesn't bounce around as much, it's like the short bed, not 100% sure, but this truck rides significantly better on the road. Now, I don't think that it's louder. Maybe these tires are just a little bit louder than the Falcons on the Tundra TRD Pro, but if, if like minimal, like at all. So the Dobinson's kit on this truck, it rides great. The Fox suspension is also plush on the Tundra TRD Pro, but I feel like this Dobinson's kit, it just rides so, so freaking good on this truck. And like, yes, you could tell that this is a lifted truck, but at the same time, like you don't really, you can't really tell when you're driving it that it's lifted this high and that it's on 37 inch tires.